are WNST, AM 1570, Tass of Baltimore, and Baltimore Positive. Lucas and I are positively probably underneath a palm tree right now, sipping on a beverage and uh, and watching Oriole baseball, also the NFL owners meetings. Follow our work down at Baltimore Positive in Sarasota throughout Florida all week long, out on our social media, all of those places. I'm wearing my Costa shirt because I'm getting back. I'm going old school. Uh, we have the Maryland Crab Cake Tour hitting the road again. I took a little hiatus after we did all the charity work we did back in February. Uh, we did a, a week's worth of marathon. Guy my age needs a little breather. Uh, we're going to be back after it at Drug City. I want to get all the dates right now. April 9th from 11 to 2, be giving away. I, I, there's a word that I might have some Pac-Man scratch. Um, yeah, maybe. Doug Lloyd will be telling me about that in a minute. Ten times the cash. We'll be giving those away at Costas. We're also going to be at Fadley's each and every Friday that there is an Oriole home game. We're excited about the Oriole season, excited about new management. Uh, and that will begin on April the 12th. Luke will be joining us. Also putting a Coco's date together in April and a couple of surprise uh, visits. This is... um. This is always fun. Last couple of years, I've been involved with the lottery, but, um, you know, I've been seeing people throw passes from up in my seats in 513 for 30 years. Well, not 30 years, because the lottery wasn't always involved with the Ravens, but 20 years or so. Um, and I don't have any, I gave them all away. I, I was I was looking around for like an old Raven scratch off, but I gave tons and tons of Raven scratch offs away back in September, October, November, Hollywood Casino at all of our crab cake locations. And lo and behold, Doug Lloyd has unearthed the grand prize winner. And the best part is this guy's like a Raven fan. Doug, get, break everybody. Break this down for folks because a lot of people see the Ravens tickets. I give them out. They win five bucks. They win 20 bucks. I had a hundred dollar winner back in September over Coco's uh, on a Raven scratch off. But the the big banana is like tickets for life and it's affinity packages and we had a, a group of folks that went to Jacksonville and, and Roquan Smith gave him cheesecake. So I don't know where you're going to get this kind of hang, Doug. <laughs> and, you know, you brought up the big banana, my favorite price is right song. So, uh, uh, you know, extra points there. If you are seeing those scratch off tickets, still some big uh, prizes out there. But like you said, our second chance prize is really uh, one of the things that captures the imagination of all of the lottery players out there. Everybody wants to win cash. Uh, in fact, that is one of our highest uh, uh, entry categories when it comes to second chance. But second to that is the experiences that you can get. And there's so many different ones with this scratch off ticket. Like you said, flying on the team plane. Yeah. Roquan dishing out ice cream after the game. That is pretty cool. Uh, we got to come out and, and load the buses. And I think some of the fans thought we were players. So we got that nice standing ovation uh, uh, right, right there before the game. in Jackson. You don't look like a player, Doug. I know, no, I, I yeah, I, I, look, I used I to look like Matt Stover, but I, I look like Matt Stover now, still, we, except for my hair. But yeah, I, I, we, we, we're past the point where we look like players. I think. No, no, yeah, mopping the locker room and that specialist is, is, you know, that that's what they were applauding for, and uh, you know, some, some great things like going down to the field, pa uh, making the uh, pass for cash has happened. Thomas Humphreys uh, is sitting here with us. He's he goes by TJ. He is one of our uh, six finalists that graduated to the uh, final round, had a chance to win season tickets for 20 years. And just to give you a picture, 824,000 entries in this category. What? Uh, I, I was going to say, uh, TJ, I want to bring you in. First things first, Doug always tells me this is the most of all the things. And I do a lot of year round. And Lord knows I'm a Ravens guy. I've written two books on the Ravens, right? He tells me the Ravens thing in the tickets is the biggest thing. So this is, Doug, is this maybe the hardest thing to win of all the things there is to win, given how many entries there are? Well, like I said, cash tends to lead the pack. People like something <laughs> that can be in their hand. And, and you know, I, th I think some people actually look at this category and they say, you know, it's not really likely that I'm going to be picked as the finalist. But the great thing about this category is even just being a finalist, you win $10,000. So each of our six finalists won $10,000 for being picked. And they uh, they also had a chance to win the season tickets for 20 years. Uh, in Thomas's drawing, so there were six six individual drawings, or sorry, five individual drawings that picked our finalists. And in his, there were 184,000 uh, entries. So um, of that entire, you know, uh, 800,000 total entries, you know, he only had to beat out uh, just over 100,000 people. That I say that like that's something easy well, to no do. No wonder he was jumping up and down. I want to bring him in. TJ Humphreys is here. He's going to 
every Raven game for the next 20 years. And the best part is you look young enough that you're going to make it. I mean, I'm 55. I'm like, if I had 20 years, I'd be like, yeah, you know, maybe. But uh, I did 26 years, first 26 years PSL holder. You're going to you're going to love it, man. I mean, uh, congratulations. I saw you jump for joy. But first things first, I mean, you do some great work out there and I'll get that going. But um, has this sunk in that you're going every Ravens game? Uh, not yet. Um, like I know it's happening, but I don't think it's quite sunk in yet. Um, I, I think it'll probably sink in when I go to that first game, you know, that's probably when it's really going to sink in. Have you been to Ravens games before? Oh yeah. Yeah. I actually went to games out in Memorial stadium when they first opened, you know, and I've been to quite a few games. I've been on a bit of a hiatus though, just like circumstances. So but um, I'm a huge Ravens fan, so I'm just so excited to go. Well, uh, you know, you said Memorial Stadium. Doug, you know I'm doing this 25th anniversary documentary, and I've gone and found all my pictures at Memorial Stadium from when I was a kid, like all of that, and just why I love sports and why I built this crazy Baltimore positive platform that the Maryland Lottery sends me out, eat crab cakes and all that stuff. I, I You know, I don't know what my favorite memory is, but it probably involves Memorial Stadium. What, what's your favorite Ravens memory? Because if you go back to Memorial Stadium, man, you, you must have – like, my wife's favorite memory is when we were at the snow game. Like, she was at two Super Bowls, like, all of that stuff. But, like, the day we went out there and it snowed sideways, that was the most fun she ever had at a Ravens game. What's your number one? So, I mean, being a Ravens fan in general, there's so many to try to, like, nail down. Like, I remember watching that, you know, on TV, of course, the hey, diddle, diddle, Ray Rice up the middle, you know – or when uh, Ray Lewis stopped the Chargers at the goal line and uh, and, and he just crushed Sproles, you know. So you you those... say these memories and I remember exactly where I was. You know, I was in San Diego for both of those games and there. But, like, everybody remembers where they were when these – plays happen now you're going to be there for all of them you don't have to know there's no more worry you'll you'll be there for it right <laughs> yes yes i will be there that is the... so first things first and doug oh, i always suck doug into this because doug's the poor guy at the lottery who has to call everybody and say you won and then they hang up on him they think it's a prank <laughs> like it, it's <laughs> it's part of our relationship tj you admitted because i watched the film you know out in owings bills you admitted that you didn't believe it so wh where are you when you find out you won forget the ravens that you won 10 grand right off the bat right so anybody out there knows today if somebody called and said uh, I'm Doug from the lottery. You just won 10 grand. You you might not think it's real, right? So it was actually, I got an email. It was from an email. And, uh, so you I know it's my, a scam then, right? I, I was in my kitchen and I opened it and I said, this has got to be a joke. This is spam. This is definitely spam. I thought it was going to be like, you know, send this prince a million dollars and we'll give you like 10 million, <laughs> you know. But I, I closed the email and I opened it again and I'm like, wait a minute. There might be something to this, so I closed it again. Well, did, you knew you email. played, right? You knew you played. I knew the I concert. played. Yeah, okay, yeah. So right. what I wound up doing is going on the website, the lottery website, and it, and I checked, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is legit. <laughs> See, people really do go to mdlottery.com when I tell my wife goes, she's trying to crushes mega millions and his jackpots right now and powerball going crazy so uh tj humphreys is our guest he is the big winner uh he, the big banana as i say sort of both showcase showdowns right like you win the first one you get the 10 grand and then you're like they show you up a couple of months later and um talk about your tour with owings mills I, I saw you spent the day with jamie sharper um i've known jamie since the day he was drafted uh, i remember marvin being out in owings mills and writing we're trying to get jamie sharper in the draft and they wound up getting him and all these years later Super Bowl champion and a really super good guy to come out and tour you guys around a little bit. Oh, that was amazing. Uh, just going to the castle for one, seeing the Super Bowl trophies, just going through. And then Jamie Sharper, I mean, I remember, you know, he's the OG 55. He's he's, he's the 55 before Terrell sucks. So, uh, you know, it was really, really cool. And my daughter I had with me and I'm like, this is the Super Bowl champion, honey, <laughs> you know. And my daughter loved the experience. Um, she got to run on the practice field. You know, it how old's your daughter? She's four. She'll be five in August. So. Oh my God! So she's yeah. gonna go to football games. It's oh, maybe, yeah. maybe sooner yeah. than later. Yeah, I was four. I was four when my dad took me to my first game. It was a Jets? I saw Joe Namath play. 
against Marty Domras. You know, United had just left. They were no good, 73-74. But I remembered those. I mean, when I see Stan White, I think of those memories. And I think about being a little boy and, like, Lenny Moore signed an autograph for Memorial Stadium back in the early 70s. I was, like, seven, eight years old. You're t- so what's the plan? Are you going to take her right away? Or yeah, are you going to ease her in preseason, pre-season games? Pre- I'm going <laughs> to take her to a preseason. Like, I've taken her to Orioles games, and she's a champ. She loves the Orioles. So – She's been to Orioles game, uh, never a Ravens game. I know they can be a little rowdy sometimes. So I'm going to take her to a preseason game and, and kind of go from there. And as she gets older, you know, I'm definitely going to take her. Because growing up, I went to sports games. And that's a fond memory I have of my childhood is, you know, going to Memorial Stadium, Camden Yards when they opened, you know, going all the sporting events I could. So um, I think it's going to be a great memory for my daughter to have. Doug Lloyd is here. TJ Humphreys is here. He is the big winner from the uh, Ravens contest. He has tickets for life. Doug, of course, in the Maryland Lottery is the poor guy. Uh, and Doug does this all day calling people. Doug, don't you love when somebody wins and they start giving me 30 years of giving me Ravens history, which, you know, TJ, you and I get together anytime and just sit here and talk about this because, like, I mean, every, every one of your memories is something in, in sort of my catalog. And, Doug, it always doesn't work this way, right? And everybody wants to win these. The people on stage were disappointed even though they won ten grand. I hope you gave them some sort of parting gift. I hope Jamie <laughs> gave him a hug and took a picture or something, right? Everybody wants to win. Um, I want everybody to win. Um, you know, and and I even know that these finalists, there's only going to be one, one person that leaves there, uh, you know, absolutely beaming. Uh, we, we try to make sure that everybody had a really good experience. That's why, uh, you know, the Ravens are such great partners to work with and, uh, you know, put together this great tour at the castle and uh, all these great experiences, having Jamie Sharper there, um, all part of that, uh, you know, take the uh, relationship and then extend it. That's something that they do on a regular basis. And it's kind of a reflexive thing, um, you know, and then TJ and, and I, you know, I talked to every one of these uh, uh, finalists and every one of them had a certain passion for the Ravens that I, I just thought it'd be nice to be able to give them 20 years of of lift to that that passion that they already have. TJ just happened to be the lucky person. Each person did walk away, of course, having that init- initial $10,000 prize. Uh, we did have a, a, a series of uh, Ravens scratch off tickets for each of those uh uh, participants too. So uh, I already got a couple of ring, couple of people ring back in, say they won $20, they won $14, $50. Uh, so it, it's nice to even beyond the experience, find out that you, you know, you were able to put a, put a little bit of winning in somebody's pocket as they went. TJ, at least they didn't put that pressure and you had to throw the football. I mean, I, <laughs> I always feel terrible. You're going to see that for the next 20 years. You know, you're going to be out there third quarter. You're like, Hey man, I'll take the free seats, man. I don't want to throw the football, especially into the wind um, for you. And, and I, I want to give you a little bit of, uh, of oxygen. The Maryland lottery sent me out last uh, month along with wind donation and, and our sponsors here, Jiffy Lube. I, I do this crazy crab cake tour. And I did a thing called crab cake where we called it a cup of super bowl. We raised uh, awareness and, and really food for the Maryland food bank. And along that way, I, had 78 conversations with uh, folks really like in a similar space of um, doing good deeds in the community. You're not just a Maryland lottery winner. You're not just a dude that lives five miles from my radio station up here in Northeast Baltimore County, but um, harm reduction counselor. So when I see this, first off, it says you live in Nottingham. I lived in Nottingham for you. Nobody lives in Nottingham. You're like in Perry Hall. You're in White Marsh. Nobody calls it Nottingham, even though it's two, one, two, three, six. Um, you know, right around the corner here in White Marsh, tell folks what you do and why you do it, because I think it's a really important platform. You're exactly the kind of guy I would have had out last month. So um, I actually were, I live in not, or Perry Hall. I don't call it Nottingham. Nobody I don't think anybody Nottingham, does. No. Uh, but uh, I work out here in Hartford County, um, which is pretty cool. I get to give back because I, I grew up in Edgewood in Hartford County. So I get to give back to a community which, you know, I ravaged. You know, I have my own um, history of, uh, substance use uh issues and um I, I got clean um a little over seven years ago and um so what i do now is i'm a peer recovery specialist in uh, you're a young man you're 39 years of age right yeah yeah, yeah so you got help at 32 yes how yeah. long were you struggling this something started when oh, you were 12, 20 years, years old? 20 yeah. years one and off i mean 20 years and um you know um once once i kind of got my life back together one thing turned to another and I wound up here at Voices of Hope and, and their mission and vision fits exactly what I want to do. And it allows me to be like the voice I didn't have when I was out there. So we go out and we do outreach and we meet people right where they are. We'll go to these encampments and, and, and 
you know, and, and meet people where they are. We do treatment coordination, you know, um, to get people into treatment. We help with transportation. We help with recovery resources. Um, you know, we're, we're big in the community and we really want to help people. And, um, you know, that's I, I love what I do. I have a passion for it. And it's because I've been in those places where these people are. And when 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 you're at that bottom, that low point, you know, you feel that nobody hears you, nobody understands you, nobody sees you. Um, so we just try to let them know recovery is possible. And, um, you know, and we give them all the resources and we try to knock down all the barriers um, that they may face, um, you know, in their journey to treatment. Um, you know, in their journey to recovery. What got you uh, clean seven years ago? What was uh, your life episode that that healed you and clearly seven years later trying to help other people? So um, I had many uh, failed attempts at um, recovery. Um, so it wasn't like an overnight thing. And uh, I just hit this, uh, this low, this physical, spiritual, mental low where the misery of living day to day and doing what I had to do to make myself even function was worse than death. I hit this bottle that uh, it, it's hard to put into words. Um, and uh, and I knew I had a couple of resources out there and, and I finally, you know, went into it with an open mind knowing that I can't, I can't go on like this anymore. And, uh, you know, and, 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 and you meet people like that every day. Oh, 100%. I mean, uh, I mean, I'm big in the recovery community and, um, the, and that's huge for me because the recovery community has helped me through so many trials and tribulations within my recovery, even because just cause you, you know, you put the drugs down, life doesn't stop. Life shows up and, you know, you got to learn coping mechanisms, how to cope with life and problems without using when that was your first instinct for 20 years, it's hard to unbreak that chain, you know? So, and that's what I think. That's the root of addiction, literally, right? Yeah, and yeah. Um, yeah, the opposite of addiction is connection, you know? So we like to connect people. And uh, I think even with these tickets, man, it's going to give me the opportunity to to bless some people early in recovery to show them, you know, hey, come to a game with me. Let me show you, you can have fun in recovery. You can have fun without the use of alcohol or drugs. Let's Let's go to a game. So that's another opportunity that this win gives me, you know? Well, I'll give you one more opportunity. We do a couple of Super Bowl every year um, where I feature that. I want you to come back on uh, Super Bowl week next year and tell me how the season went. Show me pictures of your daughter going and see. I, the schedule's not out yet. I hope they play somebody decent in the preseason for you. At least you get to see nice color uniforms or something. But I remember what it's like being four or five years old going to a football game. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, we're all blessed the, Ra the Ravens are here. I mean, you you sound almost old enough. Not quite because you're 30. But you remember there were no Ravens for a minute in your life, early in your life. So, um, you know, at least we have that. And, hey, keep up the great work. You're up in Hartford County. Tell folks how they can get in touch with you or in touch with you through center because i want to give people a leg up there's always somebody out there both my parents were you know addicted and so i i grew up in dundalk you know i i know the drill um saw it um you know bought the t-shirt quite frankly um but there's always somebody else that needs help every day i see people and wonder you know is that person struggling and where would they turn if they they needed help yeah so um you can visit us online it's uh voices of hope maryland dot org um and one thing that's really cool which i left out is um we actually distribute narcan uh, we give narcan out in the community we do narcan trainings so if you ever need a narcan training we'll send some peers out to you and do that training you know we've done businesses and other recovery places we that's something that we offer um and we'll give you free narcan you know, and I always you know, say Emily Keller's a good friend of mine, the former mayor oh, of yeah. Hagerstown. Who, yeah, every, when I bring up Emily's name in your community, she's a superstar, um, a great friend, and uh, yeah, she's down in Annapolis working for West now and yeah. trying to do good things. Anytime uh, it gets brought up, uh, you know, her name came up every day uh, that week because there's a lot of people, um, you know, on the other side of this, they lose relatives and they start funds and and try to create awareness. We're trying to keep everybody alive, and the first step is finding somebody like T.J. Humphreys. Who, if you want to find him on Sundays, in it's going to not, not be between one and four. You have to get him in the morning or hit him after the game. He'll be sober after the game. He might be one of the few folks. And so, um, TJ, thank you for coming on. Uh, congratulations for winning. Uh, Doug, I appreciate you as always setting these awesome.
some cool stories up and we find out. I get to talk about this stuff and, you know, I give tickets out and people win and people second chance. My wife's using the MD Lottery in the app and all that stuff. Um, but it's it's sort of like when I was a kid on MTV, Doug, they used to say, people really win. And it's like, people really win. So, uh, TJ, uh, come back, visit with us next year and keep up the great work and we'll talk more about your work, okay? And, and, Thanks and for having is- me. And, and this is something we've been doing for uh, now 15 years now. So uh, so uh, Thomas, uh, TJ is part of our uh, 15th year of giving away season tickets for 20 years. Uh, you talk about his daughter. He may have some uh, babysitters there in the row, uh, <laughs> some lucky lottery winners that want to look after her during the uh, preseason, maybe tell her some of the ins and outs of the 20 years that they've been able to experience. And uh, we're already hard at work at planning the uh, next uh, series of Ravens promotion. So we're looking forward to uh, seasons in the future. Lots of great second chance stuff happening now. If you've got multiplier scratch off tickets, look out for that. Um, uh, new to the stage is our Pac-Man uh, second chance. Chances to win $2,500 prizes or at the end, a Pixel Bash uh, Pac-Man arcade unit. Oh, hold on with this, man, because I nobody <laughs> clued me in on the Pac-Man thing. Like, I mean, I knew about Home Run Riches and the Grand Slam, and but wait, this Pac-Man thing... I just saw it on my email this morning. What 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 what's a Pac-Man thing? Pac-Man. So it's our new two dollar scratch off ticket. It's, it's what we call a licensed product. You know, I promote the Maryland Lottery, Doug. We got to talk to Roz. I mean, I and I'm about to go to Sarasota. When I get back, opening day, I need some Pac-Man. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, and it's got all the fun graphics. Basically, it's a it's a it's a Pac-Man trying to make its way to the end of the row. There's a p- prize at the end of it. Uh, if you get into chase a show, the little cherry, so chase the banana, get caught. <laughs> That's right. Orange right. each. Uh, I played Pac Miss Pac Man, not Pac Man. I played Miss Pac Man um, at the um, at the Toto Journey concert in the vault at the CFG Bank Arena. I got invited. They had a Pac Man machine, and more. And I'll tell you, Doug. I think both of you are younger than me because I'm like an old fart. I'm 55, so I mean, I remember I was I was 12 years old when Pac Man happened, and we had never seen anything. Pac Man was, I mean. It's listen, it's gambling addiction month. And I don't, you know, I, I want to tell everybody 1-800-GAMBLER, do all that. When I was 12, I had a Pac-Man problem. I mean, I, I love Pac-Man. I really did. We, uh, and, but you would always get that joystick, especially on Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man. I call it Pac-Man too, where the joystick would get you eaten because the joystick wasn't. And this, I had a sticky stick uh, and I got eaten and I got to the second board though. I got to see the little song where they sing. Uh-huh. So they do that. Uh, you well, you're not, doing Pac-Man. I'm just telling you what I know about Pac-Man. I've on wasted, the, I, no, uh, on I wasted the, a lot of 1980 and 81 and 82 on Pac-Man. No, yeah, I I, I busted a lot of quarters too. Um, and and I, you know, I had the the uh, Atari at home, so I, I had a version of uh, couldn't even win anything. It's not like the lottery. You you couldn't even get like a free slice of pizza if you got to the fourth fourth board or something. You know, right. Right, right, but you know now if you if you suckers uh, we were extended kids. play here with our scratch off ticket, you've got your own uh, arcade machine. Uh, it's a stand up pixel bash arcade machine, pretty cool to look at. And uh, you know there's really only going to be one of those prizes, so uh, you know get your second chance uh, uh, tickets in there. They're they're you know they're worthless unless you're using them in our rewards club. Um, you know, and uh, while you're uh, trying to get there, uh, you've got a chance to win up to ten thousand dollars on the scratch off ticket. So that's that's what's happening with that one. Um, home run riches. We're excited for baseball. Uh, I know you're you're going to spring training. Oh, new- oh, 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 hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I got this out because TJ said the match reason. I'm a big Oriole fan. Camden Yards opening day. We're excited. My daughter loves the Orioles, and I'm like, come on, man. I mean, come on. Who's more ready for 102 <laughs> wins and some playoff action than me? So yeah, I got I, this. Is old school too. This isn't even like. This is like polyester. It's going to not breathe. It's going to be terrible, but I'm going to love it. Well, we've definitely got the fever over here at the Maryland Lottery. Uh, la- last year, we had a lot of fun with our 50th anniversary and, and then getting the, the Orioles promotion worked into that, ha- giving away some big prizes. This year, the big twist. Do, do you have a ticket where we can win the World Series or no? They don't have that <laughs> oh, ticket? Man. No? It, it would be nice, right? It takes a lot of planning on our side to kind of make those things happen. Uh, but uh, we, we wanted to plan a promotion that would actually work with the season no matter how it goes. We know that we're gonna, we've got some power hitters there. And so uh, Home Run Riches is back again with our fast play game. It's got the progressive jackpot for a chance to win every time you purchase the ticket. And then your non-winning tickets 
and your winning tickets for that matter can be used in the rewards club. That'll give you a chance to be picked as a contestant of the game all season long. So we're going to have several drawings uh, for the upcoming games. If you're picked, you have a chance to win $500 for every home run hit. You'll also get $500 just for being selected. And the new twist this year is grand slams. Uh, we had, uh, uh, I believe, uh, six grand slams last year. By the way, <laughs> I hit Martin on this late. They moved the <laughs> fences out. They move the fences out. So they, they, that's, you know, for me, move the fences back in if you're going to give money away. Don't tell right. Corey well, Burns we, that. We, but, know, you know. we know there were, were I mean, the, it, the the sheer number of opportunities where we had people loaded on base plus some big hitters coming to the uh, plate. Every time a Grand Slam chance falls on the warning track, I'm yeah. blaming Elias. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to blame the lottery, it. at least. Thank yeah, you. Not, well, I mean, it would, you know. It's money wasted. That's all I can say. Grant, you know who's going to feel worse? The guy that hit the ball. Uh, right? Right, you know. right. Well, you know, if if one of those does go over the fence for a grand slam, you're going to be feeling pretty good. If you are a contestant of the game, that is going to count for five thousand dollars so so this contest is really ratcheted up quite a bit if you are an orioles fan or just a fan of our home run riches uh, uh promotion you want to check that out mdlottery.com we have the schedule up there your first drawing is going to be march 26th so deadline get your tickets in march 25th and you'll be very happy if those uh those uh baseballs go out for a grand slam we did everything in this segment except get a palm tree and eat a proper crab cake. And uh, we're going to meet everybody at Costas. I have my Costas thing on April 9th. It is actually – so I've, I've gotten really clever since, like, this Oriole rejuvenation has happened and we have, like, fresh management and, like, all of that. Uh, there's an Oriole game in, in Boston opening their season at 210 on the 9th of April. And we're going to do the Maryland Crab Cake Tour just coincidentally from 11 till about 208. Uh, that day so I can wrap things up and we sit and watch Memorial baseball. So uh, something magic will be happening as I, uh, as, as I break out my magic and I'll have a handful of these uh, 10 times to cash it. Cause this is what I have. It's in our next, but I'm going to get some, some, I, I need some Pac-Man. So I got to talk to, uh, to Roz about that. Just stay away from sticky joysticks on the Mrs. Pac-Man because it'll get you eaten before you get to the third board and you, you won't get the free slice of pizza. Uh, the Maryland Lottery puts us out on the road. It is the Maryland Crab Cake Tour. Also brought to you by our friends at Window Nation in conjunction with Jiffy Lube and our newest sponsor, Liberty Pure uh, Water Solutions. Keep my water clean, making it happen, getting this on the road. We'll be at Fade These each and every Friday. TJ is going to be at every uh, every football game, and uh, I really love giving some oxygen to help some people out uh, out there who need a little bit of help. And if you need help, and this is – it's. Gambling Addiction Month. We need to let everybody know the whole month. Uh, I do a lot with casinos. We've done a lot with online. Got somebody in your life that has a problem, or if you have a problem, 1-800-GAMBLER. Get some help. John and I talked about it last week. Uh, somebody's there right right now to help you out. And um, and it's March Madness, for crying out loud. Don't be doing crazy things here. Breathe in the good air. Springtime's here. Get yourself some help. All right. I am Nestor. We are WNS. I'm, you know, I'm getting myself some help. Get some some baseball help, some sunshine. Got my sandals out. Follow Luke and I as we journey to Sarasota and going to rip up Fort Myers and uh, me and MIC. See you soon. So, uh, And then it's opening day next week. Stay with us. We are BaltimorePositive.com. We never stop talking Baltimore positive and good stuff around here.